Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. My name is Dan and today we'll be taking a closer look at the newest headphones by Blisswolf. I'm talking of course about the ANC5 that I'm wearing right now. Now a lot of people were very excited about the release of these headphones because they feature pretty large uh, 40 millimeter dynamic drivers, the fact that they also offer active noise cancelling and not only that, the active noise cancelling actually features six microphones which is pretty high if you think about it. Also the fact that it has a transparent mode that will allow you pretty much to have a conversation while uh, wearing your headphones, although I don't necessarily advise you to do that. They are also compatible with all the Bluetooth communication protocols with your smartphone device and computer, which is pretty, pretty nice. And of course, the fact that they have a very, very long lasting battery. I'm talking about 50 to 60 hours of usage, depending on the listening mode that you are uh, using. Now, before we continue this video, of course, I must disclose that I have a close relationship with the a manufacturer and the seller so keep this in mind nonetheless i'll try to offer a non-biased review and obviously you can also compare it with some other reviews out there so you have all the information that you need in order to make an informed purchase if you wish to do so okay so what we're gonna do now is take a very very deep dive into all the functionality of these headphones i will cover everything that you need to know and if there's something that i'm missing definitely drop me a comment right there in the comment section because i'll be very responsive to all your questions and i'm talking about any questions whatsoever also if you wish to obviously get a decent price or something like that you can obviously get in touch with me via private message and i'll see what i can do for you now let's go ahead and take a very deep dive and pretty much get to know everything that we need to know about the newest bluetooth headphones by blisswolf the anc5 Let's see what comes included with the box. We get the headphones, of course, then a small tiny black box with a USB Type-C cable, a 3.5 mm audio cable that can be used to connect your headphones directly to an audio output, and finally a 3.5 mm dual female socket with a male end that can be used on airplanes, I guess. Now let's take a closer look at the headphones. At first glance, the finish quality looks pretty good. The outer shell is made of plastic and it has a sort of a matte or matte mate, depending how you want to pronounce it, finish. It feels very smooth once you touch it and is not very susceptible to fingerprints. To be honest, it looks a lot like a high-end product, like if it would have been manufactured by a company like Boss or Bose, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I think most of you are going to be satisfied with the quality of the finish. As you can see, the ear muffs are made of a leather-like material that also feels very smooth. The same type of material can be found in the headband. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the main parts of the ANC5. So in total, there are about three buttons in the left ear cup. Two of the buttons the upper and lower in the upper and lower section are the volume rocker. By pressing them, you can regulate the volume according to your needs. You can also use these buttons to skip tracks, and we'll take a closer look at that later on. Right between the volume rocker buttons, we find the so-called control button that has several functions. It can be used to power on or power off the headphones. It can also be used to play or pause a song. Also, it would allow you to answer or end incoming calls. And finally, it can be used to activate Siri or Google's voice assistant. Below these uh, volume rockers, we will see a 3.5 mm headphone jack and there is a 3.5 mm cable included with the headphones like I'll show you before. In the left ear cup, there is a button called the future button. This button can be used to engage the active noise cancelling mode. 
ambient on transparent mode and also the default or basic listening modes. Right next to the future button, we'll see an LED light. This tiny LED light is a battery indicator and it also uh, will let us know when the headphones have engaged the so-called Bluetooth pairing mode and once they have uh, been paired uh, to another device. Right under the LED light, you will see a USB Type-C connector. This USB Type-C connector will be used, of course, to charge the internal battery of the headphones and uh, you can use a regular charger or a power bank to charge the internal battery via USB Type-C. Now let's quickly go over the specs. So in terms of connectivity, these headphones feature Bluetooth 5.0. This is not the latest version of Bluetooth, but I think it's just fine. The frequency response range for these headphones is somewhere between 20 Hz to 20 kHz, which is pretty much uh, all that humans actually need. The capacity of the internal battery is 750 milliamps, and that battery should give you a usage, a usage time sorry, of between somewhere from 40 to uh, 50 hours, which is actually pretty impressive. Also, in standby mode, is supposed to last all the way from 3 to 6 uh, modes. To fully charge the battery, you should need like about 3, oh no, sorry, about 2 hours. Yeah, 2 hours to fully charge the battery. Now, in terms of Bluetooth profiles, the ANC5, uh, they support pretty much all the relevant ones. So that would be uh, A2DP, AVR, SCP, HSP, FAP, you know, all the all the ones that are pretty much relevant to, to uh, headphones or earphones are supported by the ANC5 uh, headphones. Uh, according to the manufacturer, uh, the weight of these headphones is about 420 grams. I certainly must calibrate my uh, the scale in my kitchen because when I check, they seem to be only about 300 grams but that's because my scale is pretty much not not very good and not very uh, accurate uh, in any case uh, the actual weight is supposed to be about or around 420 grams so they are kind of heavier than other models out there now in terms of impedance they are rated at 32 ohms which is more than enough uh, to be used with your smartphone or computer the size of its dynamic drivers are about 40 millimeters. And finally, the signal to noise ratio, according to the manufacturer, is above 90 decibels, which is pretty good, I would say. Now, let's go ahead and cover some of the important features of or functions of these headphones. So one of the features that people care most about nowadays uh, when it comes to headphones or earphones, besides audio quality, of course, is the so-called active or passive noise uh, cancelling. The active noise cancelling or ANC uh, in these headphones is pretty actually good. So what they feature is an active noise cancelling, not a passive one. The active noise cancelling uses an array of microphones, in this case six microphones, to detect and cancel any potential sources of ambient noise. The active noise cancelling in these headphones also, uh, I can at least vouch for this, it works properly. And the awesome thing is that you could pretty much uh, activate it or deactivate it according to your needs. And the fact that it's actually using six microphones to pretty much detect noise coming from different directions and uh, pretty much cancel the noise. Also, if you don't want to actually engage the active noise cancelling, you can easily disable it just by clicking one button and it will allow you to sort of switch to another mode called transparent mode that will allow you to talk while wearing the headphones or just to the default mode that pretty much has no, act, no uh, noise cancelling. Uh, the nice thing about the active noise cancelling uh, is also that uh, it works pretty well in windy conditions. You know, you can barely hear any wind while wearing them. Of course, that will depend where you are, but uh, in my test, they uh, seem to be pretty decent when it comes to this. Now, another thing, a uh, nice thing that I already mentioned is the fact that they feature a uh, 40 millimeter dynamic drivers. These large drivers are indeed capable of producing a very pleasant bass. However, many other headphones in the market also offer similar dynamic drivers. Uh, that's why I don't necessarily see it as a super awesome feature, but well, it's worth uh, mentioning. 
Uh, now, personally, uh, one of the really awesome features that I like in these headphones is the playtime. Oh yeah, or I mean the, the the time that the battery lasts. Actually, we're talking about somewhere from 50 to uh, 40 to 50 hours, which is, I mean, pretty awesome, you know. Uh, on the of course, that would depend on what listening mode you're using. If you're using, for example, active noise cancelling, it would be less. You know, if you're using perhaps a passive mode, it would be a little bit more like the default or basic mode. So it makes sense now why many people are using these larger kind of headphones instead of the smaller earphones. One of the main reasons, of course, is the battery, the capacity of the battery and the amount of playtime that they offer. Earphones uh, nowadays, they offer um, all the way from three to five hours, while these larger headphones they're offering above 24 hours, which I think is pretty good. Again, this feature is not, of course, uh, unique to the ANC5. There are other models in the market, of course, that offer similar uh, playtime or battery time. However, I still find it really, really awesome feature and definitely worth mentioning. The fact that you can make and receive calls is obviously an important feature as well, and the ANC, of course, supports it. Another cool feature, I would say, is the fact that uh, these headphones uh, support uh, ear detection. Uh, so as you can see, in the inner section of the ear cup, there is a tiny little sensor. Once you remove the headphones from your head, the music will stop playing automatically and it will stop playing again once you uh, wear them. Now, this function can be activated or deactivated depending on your needs, so that's also pretty nice. To make sure that you don't uh, run out of battery, you will also hear a warning about 30 minutes, when there are only 30 minutes remaining of your battery, you will hear that wall warning sorry, telling you low battery. That's a pretty nice feature as well. And uh, like now, before I give you uh, my final sort of opinion, let's take a look at how to pair these headphones and uh, also let's take a detailed look at all the sort of uh, functions and how can they be operated or activated using the buttons. So pairing the headphones is very easy. Uh, you just need to follow these steps. First, go ahead and take the headphones out of their case. Then rotate both ear cups, like if you're gonna wear them. Now, this is not a necessary step, but I like doing this. Then my advice is that before pairing them, you just turn off the Bluetooth in your smartphone. Again, you don't have to do this, but I think it go, the process goes smoother if you do it like this. Go ahead and press the control button for one second. Once you do that, you will see that the LED light will start blinking. This means that the headphones have entered in pairing mode. The pairing mode will last uh, from, I think, up to five minutes, unless you, of course, turn them off. After having done this, head to the Bluetooth section of your smartphone device and engage the Bluetooth. After having done uh, so, find the headphones by their name, AMC5, just tap it once, and the connection will be established. So once the connection is established, the LED light will stop blinking. Also, you will be able to see the battery status on your on the screen of your smartphone. If you have any issues during the pairing, again, just turn off the headphones and turn off the Bluetooth in your smartphone device and start over. Let's now cover in detail how to operate uh, the headphones using the buttons. So again, first we have the control button in the left uh, ear cup. If you press that button for one second, it will engage the Bluetooth pairing mode. If you press uh, that console button for three seconds or more, it will turn off uh, the headphones. Pressing the control button once will play a track or pause it. And if you press the control button uh, once uh, you're receiving an incoming call, it will answer the call. And if you press it while there's an active call or an incoming call, you will hang up or reject the call. Pressing the control button twice will engage uh, Siri or Google's voice assistant, depending on what kind of smartphone or system are you using. Now, the volume rocker itself is self, uh, itself is self explanatory. So pressing the upper button will increase the volume while pressing the lower button will decrease the volume. If you press the upper button uh, of the volume rocker for two seconds, it will uh, skip track. And if you press the lower button for two seconds, it will just uh, jump to the previous track. Pressing the feature button once will engage the active noise canceling mode. 
If you press it again, it will activate the ambient or transparent sound mode or listening mode. And finally, if you press it again, it will basically activate the default or basic mode, which does not have uh, the transparent mode sort of uh, transparency of audio, I would say, but at the same time, it doesn't have the active noise cancelling. To activate or deactivate the uh, in-ear uh, sensor, the only thing that you need to do, basically this uh, in-ear sensor, like I was mentioning before, it detects whether you're wearing the headphones or not, and it will basically play or pause the music depending on whether you're wearing them or not. So to basically uh, activate or deactivate this uh, function, the only thing that you need to do to do that is go ahead and press the so-called um, future button for about five seconds. So basically five seconds uh, pressing the future button will uh, activate or deactivate this mode. Now in the right uh, ear cup, you'll find the so-called uh, future button. And that's the one uh, that you need to uh, sort of, you know, press to either activate or deactivate this uh, in ear or ear detection function. Now in that same right ear cup, and again, continuing with the future button, uh, that button will also allow you to switch between three listening modes, like I was describing before, uh, before the default or basic, active noise cancelling and transparent on ambient mode. And to switch between these modes is just enough to press the button once. Now, as I mentioned before, the active noise cancelling mode uses uh, six microphones to detect ambient sound and cancel it. The ambient sound mode or transparent mode is used when you actually need to be alert to certain sounds in your environment or when you need to have a conversation or something like that. Now, let me cover my personal experience using them. First, let me say that they cover uh, my ear properly. Now, personally, I have what you would call a sort of standard ear size. That means that I'm not a hedgehog or an elephant. Now, if you're a hedgehog, you should have no problems. It will cover your ear. However, if you're an elephant, you know, this ear cup might be a little bit smaller for your ear. But again, in my opinion, for most people, it's just going to be perfect. Um, have you uh, noticed that, for example, you can easily adjust the position of the ear cups depending on the shape or the size of your head? The ear cups can be easily rotated, as you can see here. They can be extended also to accommodate a variety of anatomical uh, head shapes, I would say. Now, uh, despite being around 420 grams, they feel rather light on your head. They don't make a lot of pressure. But again, that will depend a lot on the shape of your head. Personally, I can't wear any headphones for more than an hour and a half, like an hour and 30 minutes. So I have tried the Beats by Dread. I have tried the Boss uh, Sound uh, Link and some other brands, and it's the same. Pretty much after one hour and 30 minutes, it feels a little bit kind of heavy on my head, so I cannot wear them for a long time, but that would again apply to other brands as well. Now, my dog seemed to like them, <laughs> and I think that your pet might actually enjoy listening to some uh, cool soundtracks while resting on your sofa, so give it a try. I have tried jogging and doing sports using them and they don't seem to slide off my head even though I have a rather narrow head so they will be a great addition to those of you that would like to try crossfit or sports in general. The only issue is that if it's hot it's going to get a little bit hot in that area basically it gets a little bit warm you tend to sweat more so for that I usually like to wear more earphones than headphones. Now let's cover audio quality. This is always a little bit of a difficult one for me, you know, <laughs> because personally, I'm not an audiophile. It means that I it's hard for me to appreciate, you know, uh, audio quality. So what I've done is that I have uh, tested in a group of people. I let them try it and I have collected some feedback. So for most part, people are satisfied with the sound quality. The only negative feedback that I got from a few users is that the volume was not high enough. But I think that this is because headphone manufacturers, they are in some places required by law not to go above certain loudness levels. I th I, I, that's what I think, at least, because it can cause uh, ear damage in the, when you sort of take a look at the long-term uh, usage. Now, for my own liking, the volume is more than enough, but that would be your call. I mean, I can understand that some people may like listening to music at even louder levels.
Now let's cover what I like and I don't like about the ANC 5. So what I like is first of all, like I was saying before, the finish quality, they feel pretty uh, like a high end product. I also like the ear detection feature that will play or pause depending on whether you're wearing them or not. I like the fact that the battery can last all the way from 40 to 50 hours depending on listening modes. The fact that they uh, feature a noise cancelling uh, mode, which is really good, and especially that you can engage or disengage it according sorry, to your needs. Besides offering the noise cancelling, the headphones also offer a mode that will allow you to amplify ambient sounds in case you need to have a conversation, although in general I don't advise you to actually wear headphones while having a conversation. I'm also going to include them, um, I mean including the things that I like, the fact that they feel rather comfortable to me. Now again, remember that this will depend a lot on the shape and size of your ears and the sh shape and size of your head and so on. I think the headphones can be adjusted to various head sizes so it's pretty difficult to complain however the ear cup is you know it's just one size so again if you have very very large ears they might protrude but uh, my ears are just fine and again I have like we'll say like a standard size when it comes to ears um, now let's go over the things that I don't like so in general I've gotten used to tapping meaning that I don't really like buttons you know in general uh, in earphones or headphones so I wish that they would um, have some type of optical sensor or an accelerometer that will allow me to just tap you know to basically switch functions that would be really really nice you know uh, but you know they don't have it and it takes a while to get used to pressing the buttons and stuff you know so that's something to keep in mind something that could be mentioned as well uh, is the control button that control button is basically between the volume rocker so it takes a while getting used to this at first it's a bit of a hit and miss situation so uh, again something that i would add has a thing to be improved now i will also add here that they seem to be a little bit heavy at least on paper i mean 420 grams and that's something you know a little bit heavy but again my personal experience it was pretty much like wearing any other headphones before i was able to wear them for about one hour and 30 minutes before it gets a little bit uncomfortable but like i was saying that takes in my case that happens with any kind of headphones that i wear that could be because of the shape of my head but in any case they could still be lighter i feel that something that could be improved is also adding a better passive noise cancelling now the active noise cancelling uh, works great so once you engage the active noise cancelling everything is good however in the default mode without active noise cancelling you will still hear a lot of uh, ambient sound especially if it's a little bit windy in your area so this is kind of like my conclusion of the review today uh, i think they are definitely competitive you know there will be some other brands that i think have similar products like anchor for example however something that i've noticed that the ones by blissful they come at a better price i think they cost like about 78 bucks right now and the fact that they also feature six microphones for noise cancelling so the noise cancelling in the ones by blissful in theory should be better because i have not tried those by anchor and of course if you look in some other brands like sony you may be sort of up you may be spending you know well above 100 uh, bucks we're gonna be talking about 150 200 depending on the model that you uh, select okay so now if you have any questions whatsoever about this product make sure you leave uh, some question right here in the comment section i'm gonna be very very responsive to <laughs> all your uh, all your questions and i'll i'm in touch of course with the manufacturer you know and with the seller so if you are interested in the product and you would like to get some awesome price also make sure you drop me a private message and uh, i'll see what i can uh, do for you if you enjoy this type of review and video please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and of course hit the like button if that's not too much trouble okay so please consider subscribing and uh, that would be really appreciated and i hope to see you in the next video hasta la vista